you have all these responsibilities and all these things you have to start thinking about and choosing and deciding and big life decisions, you know, that you don't necessarily feel equipped to make. Um, and I think something I've been thinking about is in today's culture, in today's world, I mean, things are so expensive. yourself is crazy like um technology and the internet and i'll talk about that more in a minute but that makes everything so much more stressful um i listen to a jordan P a peterson podcast i love him or a video of his and he was talking about how in today's world we've never had or in the world we've never had more opportunity and more ability to do whatever we want. You know, when you're like in college or going to college and, and everyone's telling you like you can be whatever you want. And he was like, for the most part, that's true. And we think of that as a good thing, but it can also be an extremely stressful thing. Sorry, there's a lot of trucks today. Um, you'd think there wouldn't be much traffic on a mountain, but apparently people need their deliveries or something. <laughs> anyway, so he was saying that we've never had more opportunity or more open doors, um, an ability to do different things, but that's not necessarily all a good thing. Like, that can be really stressful and really... I can't remember the way he described it, but basically when you have too broad of a choice or a decision or an opportunity, you have no direction in life. Like if you have too many choices, you don't have a choice, like you don't have a direction, a clear direction. And so that can be really anxiety inducing and very overwhelming. And I feel like that's what the majority of the population goes through. I think we don't necessarily understand it as that. We have too many options. That sounds silly to say and say that that's a bad thing, but I think that that can really be detrimental to deciding what life you want and what direction you want your life to go in because you could go any direction you want. Um, so that, but also just that's something that I've been kind of recently thinking through for myself because I, like I've told you guys before, I traveled last year for a long time. Also last year I thought my life was going to go in a certain way and I had plans for it to go a certain way, but then that didn't happen. And so I was left at the end of last year kind of like, what do I want the direction of my life to be? Like, where do I want to go? What do I want to pursue? And so I'm, I'm experiencing some of this firsthand. The, uh, not anxiety, but just the difficulty in the wide openness of things to do. I'm just kind of waiting for the Lord to reveal to me where he wants me to go. But in that, it is difficult to recognize a clear purpose when there's just so much like I'm not explaining myself well, but, um, so that, but then also it's really difficult to, I don't know, I think things are just really expensive and our world is just so crazy right now that most people my age can't. 
society is not necessarily set up for people to be successful, legitimately successful. If you think of success as just making a bunch of money, um, but like, I think of success as people being fulfilled, like people feeling fulfilled in their lives. Maybe you don't make as much money as Joe or Jill, but you feel fulfilled and you feel satisfied in what you do and in the way you live and in your family and your, you know, um, that's how I view it. And I just think that our society does not set us up well for that. Um, yeah, that's one of my thoughts from this trip. Another thought that I've had recently the right way, how do you 
decision last year to permanently delete my account um, and that's been really really good for me but there's just so many elements of technology that still invade our lives and that still kind of make us reliant on them I had someone say uh, I think it was a video I was watching and she was just talking about how many like how she brings her phone everywhere she goes it's in her pocket in her purse in next to her at the dinner table in the kitchen while she's cooking in her bedroom plugged in in the bathroom you know and i just started to think about how much i really have my phone with me and how much i don't need it like how much i don't want it to invade my life that way and to moments of the day, especially at night. So I decided today specifically, but for the rest of the weekend, to fast from my phone and not use it for anything that isn't crucial. Um, texting my parents or calling a friend, it's fine, but I'm not going to spend unnecessary time on it. And it also will mindful about how much time I spend on it and, and the fact that it's always with me like I want to turn it off and keep it in my my purse or in my bag on the hook on the wall you know not in my pocket um and I think that will really help me to be present and not thinking about a million things at the, at the time which is something that is easy to do when you feel like you have the whole world at your fingertips. And yeah, so that's my plan for this weekend to see if that, I'm sure that will make me feel more present. Um, but yeah, those are just a couple of my deep thoughts from this trip up in the mountains. And there are plenty more where that came from, but I just wanted to make a quick little cozy chat video. Me and the crows wanted to chat with you. I'd love to hear from you guys what you, what your thoughts are on these things. If you are in the same boat as far as being a 20-something and being in today's society or struggling with your phone and feeling like it's always next to you. 